Hey guys, I'm back. Look, I made myself a new little video base in the shop. It's a it's a Fisker's cutting mat, but I, I did some hydro graphics multicam and then something we call Black Ops Topo on top of that. Uh, Patriot Armory sticker, got a Doc P sticker. And I'll be adding other stickers that I like around the edges as we go. So how about that squid game? Yeah. Pretty cool. You're not here for Squid Game. You know what you are here for? I'll tell you what finally arrived. What we finally got in front of us here. Look at this. Um, now, Jason, who's the proprietor of this wonderful box for us, I know that he's been working diligently with them to correct their stupid computer errors when we got this. Now, I don't know if this is the September box that shipped on September 25th, or if this is the new October box already. The way that the way that postage and, and, and stuff has been going, it would not surprise me if on Friday, October 8th, we just got the one that shipped on September 25th. So let me get right into this box and we'll find out. So according to the packing stuff in here, this was this was billed on, Sept on, on September 26th, shipped on October 6th. So this actually got to us in two days because they used FedEx. How cool, since we just got a Zippo. Um, so this is the October box. So we missed a couple months because of their computer fuck offery, whatever. But let's uh, go ahead and take all, ooh, big K-Bar box and a Spyderco box. And um, wow, all sorts of stuff. So we'll take all this stuff out and we'll take a look at what's in the box for October. It's the five star general box. It's the biggest box they got. Now, like I said, inside the box uh, for Smoky Mountain, you've got, sorry, this is off center and it's kind of killing me a little bit. Oh, be centered, okay. You've got three levels. You've got your GI box, you got your officer's club, and then your general's box. And they work like any other subscription. They all build off each other. So Jason pays for the general's box, so he gets basically everything in there. If you get the officer's club, you get the GI and the officers, and if you get the GI box, you just get that. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items in the box. And the prices here are all, since everything in here comes from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, it's not an MSRP, it's exactly what you'd pay if you bought it from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So Aiden is gonna be uh, having a good time just killing and blowing up and blasting away at Far Cry 6 in the background, and if you hear some random machine gun fire or something, do not be alarmed, that's all it is. Now we got some stickers, there's always some cool stickers in the box. This is the biggest Smoky Mountain Knife Works sticker I've ever seen. Halloween themed, obviously, that's cool. We've got the Sasquatch with the Friday the 13th with Jason's mask and a big machete. We've gotten quite a few of these in the box, but they're cool. Um, and then Blades are King, like Burger King, like Blades are King, okay. And then there's all the assorted random candy they always throw in there. So I'll just leave that in there for now. Um, and let's take a look at the first item, which is by Buck which is the Buck Trunk Black G10 Liner Lock, 7CR steel, which is like the lowest CR I consider a decent blade. Um, you know, when you're talking about your Chinesium alphabet steel. Buck, 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 lots of buck. Um, oh, I thought for a minute this was gonna be spring-loaded because it was so much Chinese gas station knife looking anyway. Um, there we go. 252. This is obviously not a, a US made buck. Um, not at all. But it's got a Smoky Mountain price of $19.99. <laughs> oh, buck. Oh, buck. There, you gotta give it. You gotta give it a little extra. Oh, do not like the way my finger goes there. My hands are dirty from Cerakoting all day. Sorry. Thumb studs are good, but, um, oh, off center. You might be able to fix that, but I have a feeling that by the, yeah, blade play. By the time you fix that, the off center, I'm not, I do not have happy hopes for this guy. Thank you, sir. I hope I did not interrupt your island conquesting. Ah, I could be wrong. Nice, smooth slicing on the blade. It, it doesn't feel it at all when you just pick it up, but let's see. It's not bad. Not, okay. 
so you know blades finished all right um but i don't know <laughs> 3.1 ounces um 6.875 overall and a 2.875 inch 7cr stainless blade uh this would probably go and don't like it. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of the way it comes out of the box. <sighs> yeah. Oops, didn't, didn't put this back in the box. This goes into don't like it. it. I mean, just right out of the box. Yeah, it's a buck, but it's, it's one of the Chinese made ones and it's, you know, I'm sure you find something just like this on Wish or AliExpress or something for like five bucks, maybe less. All right, next we've got a Rough Rider Easy Money Stockman. And I'm guaranteeing this is the Rough Rider. It's got a Smoky Mountain price of $14.99. Now, I always look at these as more collectible than functional. It's money. Money patterned. It's going to be all oily? No. So, acrylic with a money kind of shape. The usual brass fixtures on there. Um, let's see. Yeah, so nice shiny blades. They're just they're going to be a little oily. They're 440A. These things are not made to hold an edge for very long. Like I said, these are more collection pieces than anything else, and I do like them for that purpose. Fourteen ninety nine. You know, do easy riders increase in value that much? Eh, nah. Maybe I don't know, but they're. I like the collectability of these things. Um, wow, that's honestly pretty good for a Rough Rider right out of the box. I could see these as, as, you know, you putting together a collection to pass on to the kids or something. Not so much based on, you know, what great value knives you got, but um, just, you know, a nice collection of, of, oh, there we there we go. There's that Rough Rider quality I'm used to. Okay. Just as in terms of like, you know, hey, I'm passing these collection pieces on to you guys. Um, It's, you know, again, another another collection piece in the lineup. I like these because of the collection factor of them. Um, I wouldn't count on them very far for, like, real knife duty stuff. You could sharpen 440A, no problem, but keeping that edge on it, forget it. All right, moving on. The Zippo Windy Goddess Lighter. Now, we just saw the Smoky, not the Smoky, I'm thinking Smoky Mountain, the Monthly Knife Club Zippo subscription. If you missed that, I'm going to give you a link at the end screen. Um, awesome subscription. I'm glad I'm now in that. Born in 1937, Wendy became the goddess of Zippo. Uh, Zippo's highly collectible. There are Zippos that are worth a ton of money now. Made in Bradford, PA. Right around here. About an hour away, I think. Um, Zippos are awesome for use or collecting. I got a request from a cool viewer to show some of the the uh, internal replacements you can put in here to make them a little bit more efficient than just the standard, um, you know, Zippo lighter fuel. So I'll do that, but they're cool because there are so many different ones to collect, and a lot of them are limited time additions and everything. Um, so, but I will never, I will never not like a Zippo. They're always cool, whether you're going to use them or collect them, or there people learn how to do all sorts of tricks with them and stuff. So $9.99, not bad, not bad at all. That goes and I like it. And then finally, we have a tan Smoky Mountain Knifeworks mat. Again, $9.99 for their price. It's 16 inches by eight and a half inches. And I'm just smacking things around here. Another tech mat to have for doing any kind of oh, staticky knife work and stuff. Great that it's got these little pocketed areas, you know. So the advantage of these silicone ones is that when you're taking stuff apart and you put screws and stuff down on it, I think I have some screws for something I'm working on. They don't they don't just roll away the way they might on other things. They kind of it grabs them because it has that rubbery surface. So your parts just sort of hold on in places. Um, and this is a this is a pretty nice one. This is another thing you can do though is get a magnet. And a little metal cup and then you got a magnetic cup but just saying this is a pretty nice one to have um, this is something I would probably I would purchase on my own I would and 
you use them for all sorts of stuff. Um, just protecting a workspace. Uh, you don't want to use it as a cutting mat because these aren't these are not self healing mats. They'll you'll just slice them open. Um, but they've got a lot of purposes. So they make cool noises sometimes. All right. So we'll put this in like it, but I'm gonna move everything else over. So there we go. So that's pretty nifty. Um, four items up, four items down. One and don't like it, but we've got three and like it. Not bad for the return of Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Let's move into the Officers Club box. We've got the K Bar US Space Force Space Bar. You know, so K Bar's put out a line of Space Force knives, which are they're really just recolored and rebranded versions of their other knives. So this is the actual K Bar, which looks well so far just like a K Bar. And that's all it is. It says K Bar. And it's got the space, it's it's basically, it's it's a K-bar that says U.S. Space Force. That's all it is. And they want 75 bucks for this, $74.99. It's $10.95, Cryovan German Steel. Um, it, is, it is literally, it is just a K-bar with U.S. Space Force on it. Now, at least the other ones have like, you know, so they, what they've done is they've taken some other knives that are like they had one of their, their zombie hunter knives, um, their dozier, uh, it's in one of the other ones that was like normally a, like a like a neon green and they made it like this sky blue space color. Not that I would ever complain about getting a, a good K-bar, but how is this, you know, besides having these letters on it? Okay. It is what it is. Uh, I'm... I'm tempted to put it in mad just for lack of effort. I, you know, I want people to see it. So, meh. Again, I, you know, I. This is not a commentary on the K bar knife itself, but like, cash grab. You know, I'm disappointed in you, K bar. I'm disappointed. You could have at least seracoded it blue or something. You know what I mean? To make I don't know. Whatever. Now we've got the K-Bar gun tool for $19.99. So aluminum handle with S tool to S2 tool steel. If I can get it out of the package, I'm gonna show you guys, I swear. I swear to God. Um Don't tell Ethan I used his little knife without him. Wow, it's packed. There we go. So this is Space Force colors. This is what they're rebranding everything in Space Force colors as. So what do we have here? So we have a series of you know Allen wrenches and um, and Torx wrenches and and everything's labeled there. So T16, T10. They're both labeled T10. You have two T10s. Okay, and T6. And this one's not labeled. This is just a punch and then a smaller punch pool. Okay. And then you've got, look at that, uh, a T20. You've got two slot drivers and another or two Phillips. And then you've got this. It's a magnetic. You can tell it's got a magnetic bit holder. You can put any bit in there, but it comes with those. And then a five, two five thirty seconds, a one eighth, a three thirty seconds, and then this little tiny guy right here. So this is basically, you know, you can get these these little sets of Allen wrenches and Torx wrenches in a holder. This comes with a few. These are common sizes you might need to work on various firearms. I mean, this is definitely not an all-inclusive kit, but it's a lot of common ones in one place. For 20 bucks, it's not bad. Um, I gotta be honest though, I would just rather buy a good, spend the money on a good, priced bit set with a more comfortable handle driver if you're if you're going to be using it a lot this is not this is not the number one a ratcheting driver is going to is going to save you so much strain and time and this just is not the most comfortable what this does do is give you torque if you need it but um this is going to go in mail also because it's, it's just not the most comfortable thing and there are going to be things you're going to be missing i'd rather spend another 20 bucks uh i you know spend 40 dollars on a full set have everything you need and quite frankly, I bet the quality on this is not is not none of these sets that these folding sets ever have the highest quality. Although there are a lot of phosphor bronze 
washers that you could take this, take out of this and use for other things. But anyway, this is going to go in meh. With the, uh, I'm disappointed in K-Bar this time around. <clears throat> I really am. So we got one item left that's going to be in the General's box, and it's going to be a Spyderco Para 3 lightweight FRN. But this is no ordinary knife. But wait, this is no ordinary lamp. Um, CTS BD1N steel, which is some great steel. I, I'm not a fan of the Para 3. I think it's a little bit too small, but the lightweight. So you've got your FRN handles with the nice tread pattern there. The wire clip. But you've got your <clears throat> BD1N steel, which is just fantastic steel. And this is cutting like it's not even there. Not there at all. Um, we have cord. I shouldn't even, I don't even need to do this. Yes, I did not test the blade on the K-Bar because it's a K-Bar. I'm not doing it. Like nothing. And like nothing. Clean cuts. I just shipped a box at Jason's big, huge, flat rate. USPS large box. Now I got to do another one. Um, awesome action. I'm just not a fan of the size of the Para 2. Para 3. Sorry, I like the Para 2. Um, but the Para 3 is very EDC friendly. Oh, this is just drop shutty. That. So this definitely goes, and I like it. The price is one nineteen ninety nine, which I, I think is a little overpriced for the FRN. But you're you're paying a premium for the steel. You really are, and the and you're paying you're paying the spider tax, you know, because it's Spider Co. EDC size though, this thing's great. It's comfortable. Uh, great coating on there. Very very matte coating. I'm not sure if this is. Uh, does it say what this is? I don't know. If it's DLC or it's Cerakote or whatever, but very nice coating on there. So this goes and I like it. So overall, there we go. I'm glad that we've got this back on track. And we got to once again, big shout out to Jason because Jason is awesome. Jason is a, uh, he's a, a member of the Patreon team. So also shout out to them because they fund, like I always say, and I have to thank them every time, so much stuff. But especially Jason, because Jason pays out of his pocket for us to look at this, and then I ship it all off to Jason. So this all belongs to Jason. This is all Jason stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, this is, he's an awesome dude. Couldn't do this box without him, so thank you. But, you know, I'm just, I'm glad that we finally got this worked out. And again, he could have just thrown his hands up and said, like, I don't care. You know, I don't need, I don't need this hassle, but he he took care of this for us, you know, and, and there was problems uh, with Smoky Mountain and their new system. And he said, no, I'm going to make sure that this gets to to Doc P so that he can do it and show all the people. And he's just that awesome. And he did that. So thanks, Jason. Um, this is this is pretty cool um, to, to be able to look at this box with everybody. I'm not thoroughly impressed. And, and, and again, a lot of it is not a lot of it is not so like like I'm not upset with getting a K bar. Can you have too many good, solid field knives it's just dudes come on come on if you're if you're gonna tell me this is part of the space force line you need to do more than just stamp some other initials in there you know what i mean like this is still a good rugged knife you cannot argue with with the original k-bar knife quality it's just yeah you let me down this yeah i'm sure it's going to be useful just there are better options out there you know spend a little bit more money but i love this stuff this stuff's all really good um i explained why I choose not to carry the Para 3, but it's still a great knife. The only thing I'm really honestly disappointed in is this buck. Um, there are so many great buck knives made in the USA, or just better quality buck knives than this. I'm not saying it's not a good knife. I'm sure that if you needed it, it would it would serve you well, but I just, this particular one is like one of the cheapest ones that buck has, and meh. You know, so. What do you guys think? What are your opinions? What do you like or not like? What do you guys, who out there has one of these things um, and you want to chime in about it? Or like, you know, what do you, what do you think? I, putting a little bit of glow in the dark resin in these letters would be awesome. So at least then it would be like glowy and spacey. I don't know. But I'd love to hear your opinions. I'm super excited that we got this back and it's going. And I definitely want to hear from all of you. So 
Um, please take a minute just to thank Jason in the comments for taking care of this. Show him some love. But also comment what you guys think. And um, we'll, we'll get going with more Smoky Mountain. Yay! Wish I was at Blade Show West this weekend. Wish I was at any Blade Show ever. But that's for another day. So remember, you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.